Welcome to our continuing series of interviews with international business leaders discussing the impact of the coronavirus crisis. Most European countries are now approaching their first month of confinement. Lots of businesses are obviously shut down, especially in retail, but others are continuing to operate. We'll be discussing such businesses in our next two interviews and asking how do they actually operate under the crisis constraints? How do they expect their business to look like over the course of the coming year? Here is an example from the industrial sector. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Philippe Chedru. Philippe is based in Bordeaux in France and he's the president of the industrial company Oximetal. Clearly the impact for us is uh, we are running at more or less 40% of our normal volume. Um, all our plants are running, uh, so that's just the, the measure of the impact. Our activity is centered on uh, primary sheet metal parts for um, most of the industrial sectors, including those that are critical today. Uh, for example, we have customers that are manufacturing critic, uh, medical beds. Uh, so um, clearly, uh, we have to continue supplying those. Uh, but just in one number, we are running at 40% 40, 40 of our uh, normal volume. Oximetal Group, uh, it is 400 people, um, a little more than 60 million euros sales. Uh, we transform 40 to 45,000 tons of steel per year. Our customers are all the serial production industries, um, such as handling equipment, um, truck, automotive, um, railroad cars, aircraft manufacturing. As far as oxymetal, um, we, we started to work on this situation very early. Uh, as soon as mid-February, we have identified that there was an epidemic risk, and therefore we implemented our continuation plan, um, which was, of course, in case of an epidemic, to set up the uh, sanitary measures. We also changed slightly the organization of our shifts, uh, separating the shifts so the different teams would not meet each other. Uh, so it was like starting a, a preliminary confinement uh, to reduce the interactions between uh, our people. My feeling is that um, because we are in a international business um, and even at, at the level of one country, we might see confinement ends uh, progressively. Uh, maybe some regions before the others, maybe some countries before the others, and the confinement itself would be stopped uh, progressively, uh, maintaining first the, 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 the frontiers and so, and so on. So, in any case, I see a, a relatively long impact on our activity, both in terms of organization as well as in terms of volumes. Um, so that is definitely something we have to be prepared for. I'm not an epi epidemiologist, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, it's, it's very difficult to say. Um, we, if we look at China, uh, it seems that they are now progressively getting out of confinement. So if we take the same timeline, we can expect us in Europe to get out of confinement through May and June, and therefore um, have normal uh, business situation back uh, in July, August, and then progressively uh, see a ramp up to have maybe a normal level at the end of the year. The best thing I think uh, from that crisis would be that our way of working uh, will change and never come back to what we had before. Mm -hmm.